Hi and welcome to Coffee with My Sunshine. Today I am going to be doing a really cute fall decor piece and all you will need for this is some florals. I get mine at Walmart and Dollar Tree usually. I'm going to be using this Dollar Tree sign. Some burlap or your favorite fabric. And this it's like a palette board that I'd cut down a long time ago, or you could use the signs from the Dollar Tree or any wood pieces. I know they have some cute ones at Walmart um, that are just plain wood, but I'm going to be using this Dollar Tree sign for the words. So I'm just going to use Harvest, Give Thanks, and um, Falling Leaves. And I'm just taking my X-Acto to cut the words apart. And you could easily just, um, you know, use some poster board and write in your own words if you don't have signs like this from the Dollar Tree or if you have a Cricut or um, one of those vinyl cutting machines but I don't have mine up and running right now and sometimes I just prefer to go the simple route <laughs> so I am just cutting these apart and it takes a few um, a few swipes at it with the exacto because this is kind of a sturdy cardboard and then after you cut through and kind of score the cardboard just break it apart and we'll take care of those um, you know raggedy edges here shortly so just to kind of clean it up I'm taking my exacto and running it along the edge of each um, little section that I cut apart. You could also use sandpaper. That would probably work a lot easier and give you more like a um, smoother edge. And then you want to take your burlap or whatever fabric you're using and just kind of lay it out so that you get the perfect size because there's nothing more frustrating than <laughs> gluing a piece of fabric down and then finding out it's too big or too small. So I just laid mine out and kind of played with the placement and because this burlap that I'm using is a little bit um, uh, more see-through than others I've used, I'm going to double up so that you don't see the stems through the burlap. And this, um, this board that I have in the back is just a palette I had cut up a long time ago and I, I have used it for so many projects. So if you get the chance to snag a palette board from, I don't know, sometimes companies put them out at the side of the road, grab one, cut it up, and you will use it forever. <laughs> so then I'm just taking my burlap and gluing down the edges so that it stays the size that I want it on the board. And then I'm just going to take some of my hot glue and glue the burlap down on to the board. And I have a high heat hot glue gun, so it holds really, really well. But if you want to use a different glue that you know that you prefer, then go ahead and do that. After I glued it down on the bottom, I'm going to glue the bottom edge. <laughs> and because I have burnt my fingers so many times when hot glue comes through burlap, I'm just using a little tool that I have from Arteza. I think it's a clay tool, but I've seen people use spatulas and all sorts of things. So then I just glue down the edges. This has got to be like one of the most simple DIYs I've done in a long time. And then I cleaned up the bottom by cutting off the stray pieces. And with it already glued, you don't have to worry about it opening up at all or fraying. So let me know in the comments, do you guys like when there's just one DIY in a video or do you like when there's multiple DIYs in a video? Okay, so anyway, here I just, I wanted to make sure that the pocket was open enough for me to stick the florals in, and then I'm just taking the words that I had cut out and just trying to figure out the placement, and then I'm just going to hot glue them onto the burlap. And here you want to press down, but not hard enough so that it glues through all the layers of the burlap. You just want it to glue to the top. And 
so far so good. I think it's kind of cute. And here I just wanted to make sure I popped any of the hot glue apart before it um, <laughs> got too hard if it went through the burlap because I wanted it to still be a pocket. So then I'm just going to play around with the florals and these I got from Walmart. I love Walmart's florals, especially the ones that are 97 cents. I think these uh, lamb's ear were $2 a piece, but you get two um, bunches for $2, if that makes sense. <laughs> so I originally put three of the lamb's ear in there, but then I thought it was just too much. And then this I believe I got from the Dollar Tree. I can't remember, I took the tags off on my last DIY. But I love Dollar Tree florals too. I think they're getting better each year. And these are also from Walmart. I just picked them up today and they were 97 cents a piece. I just love the colors and the little pumpkin. I'm getting really excited for fall. I'm not quite there yet enough to decorate my house because I love summer and I wait all year for summer. <laughs> so I don't want it to go away yet, but I do love a fall decor. Which season is your favorite? And here it is all finished. I love it. I think it's so simple and super easy to do and really inexpensive. And I like that it can just set on a table if you want, like on a um, shelf or hang it on the wall. So let me know what you guys think and also give me your ideas for different videos that you would like to see. And don't forget next week is the Using Trash to Create Treasure Challenge where I use actual trash and garbage to, to create DIY decor. So if you're into that kind of thing, I would love for you to subscribe and if you're not already part of the family, I would love for you to join us. Thanks so much for all your love and support, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye!